My name is Peter Meyer. I'm a systems engineer with David Weekly Homes in Houston, Texas. Uh, we were uh, we originally approached Exagrid um, after uh, working uh, with a couple of under ve other vendors to solve a unique problem that we had. Uh, one, we were moving from a fully managed data center that was managing our backups to a colo facility in which uh, we would pretty much need to be taking over our own backups. But we also wanted to uh, try and uh, leverage the opportunity to ba uh, make duplicate copies of our backups to a separate location in the event of a DR uh, event. Um, and most of the other uh, vendors we worked with uh, really wanted us to, uh, really required us to purchase large infrastructure, not only in SAN, but also in software licenses that were uh, pretty expensive. Um, when we uh, first heard of the XGrid solution, it seemed like it was a perfect match. Um, it was exactly what we're looking for, backup to disk, as well as data deduplication. Uh, and the price was actually really right too. And uh, also provide us a really good opportunity to scale up in the future. Prior to us moving to the XGrid solution, uh, we were uh, trying to do our DR replication with a software product that ran as an agent on each of the servers. Uh, and then you run uh, another agent on a uh, target server in order to try to replicate SQL, exchange, uh, file services over a WAN. And uh, although the setup was relatively simple, uh, in practice it really was not very reliable. Uh, the, the sync would often stop or, or not complete. Um, the WANs, uh, there was no compression really to be seen or duplication. So uh, sync times over you know, a relatively small pipe was, uh, was, it, it was unreliable and impractical. What's really nice about this solution that w what we purchased, it, purchased into is that we purchased a, a decent sized unit for uh, use at our main data center. And the, uh, the secondary device we purchased for DR, um, was, we were able to get it at, at the right price point. But we also have opportunity to scale up. You know, we can back up uh, additional servers in the future at our data center, or even uh, leverage additional appliances to uh, back up our remote sites to prevent uh, people on site from having to, you know, shuttle tapes in and out. The original setup, I mean, was real straightforward. We worked with an engineer uh, after getting our our network configuration set up. It was, it's pretty much like an appliance is. It's really um, nice to log to log into uh, backup exec and see all the jobs. Uh, you know, it completed successfully and uh, in uh, a lot uh, faster time than normal. Uh, when we were uh, on tape-based backup, a lot of times you see a lot of jobs uh, timed out or failed or, you know, you have to rerun jobs during the day or after hours and uh, we just don't have, we, we, we don't see failed jobs at all. It's definitely a lot faster than tape and a lot easier to do the restores without the tape. Um, and definitely we've seen, you know, ourselves that we've been able to prove in a real situation where, you know, our data is here and the restores have been easy. Um, but we're really pretty much going from an environment where a data center did everything for us. It had huge infrastructure to an environment where uh, the data center was smaller and didn't necessarily have a setup that would be able to support customers' backups like we needed. Being able to go to this type of solution really made you know, it was really cost effective because one, we're saving money on the, uh, you know, the data center because their offerings are a little bit less and not having to buy this huge infrastructure for our backups was, you know, was a huge good savings for us.